Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, depending on where you're watching us live from. This is Davis here at Channel ATV. We have a special guest in the building. In the moment you find out why I'm talking about this young lad is special. And when I say special, I really mean special. So thank you for tuning in. Uh, we are live in Seattle, Washington. We are so honored and privileged this morning to have the newest Miss Washington Teen USA, Miss Novely Lewis in the building. Welcome to the program, my friend. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks for having me. I don't remember looking like that when I was 17, but uh, you look amazing. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. You're welcome. And you brought your lovely mom. I see? did, of course, my and, uh, momager. <laughs> I couldn't tell who was the mother, who was, who was you know, but then anyway, right. that's a whole different story. But. Uh, <laughs> That's great. No pressure for you. So you have to look like mom, right? One of these days. I know, right? At least I have good genes. Uh, oh, that's a good, that's a good, <laughs> good answer. Good answer. Anyway, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us. You are watching us live here at Channel ATV, and I'm so grateful for the opportunity to speak with uh, uh, Miss Novely, who is here in the flesh. It's good having you. I'm so excited to be here. Absolutely. So you just came back from California. Tell us uh, a little bit what you're doing in California. Well, one of my all-time favorite hair makeup artists and photographer, who's also a great friend of mine, Austin Ride, uh, love him. He promised me when I was 12 years old and said I wanted to be a part of the Miss Washington Teen USA program, that he would be there to do my hair makeup, make me feel like a princess the whole time, and he did, so I'm appreciative of him. Um, but I went to visit him. I got some incredible crown and sash photos, some headshots mm -hmm. for Miss Teen USA, which I'm super excited to share um, pretty soon. So yes, he's incredible. He always makes me feel like a queen. Uh, and this moment that I got to share with him is incredible. He doesn't make you feel like a queen because you are a queen. So let's make it, <laughs> let's just get that straight from the beginning, right? So, <laughs> well, first of all, I mean, t walk us through, you know, you've been doing pageant for a while now. So, yes. you know, what prompted you to start pageantry? Well, I have always been a, comp a competitive dancer. Mm -hmm. I started on my competition team when I was about seven. And one of my best friends who I've grown up dancing with forever, her mom was like, your daughter is beautiful. She has to be a part of pageants. And my mom said, no way is she wearing the fake hair and the fake teeth right. and having those tantrums. Uh, so my mom went on vacation one weekend and oh, she no. kidnapped me. Oh, no. That, that sounds bad already. <laughs> <laughs> Took me to a pageant. And I call my mom and I'm like, mom, we are doing pageants. Mm. I won my first crown and sash. I'm never looking back. We have to do this. Right? So my my mom was like, well, if we're going to do this, we're going to do it the right way. So my first pageant ever was an international competition. Right. <laughs> Play top 10. <laughs> They're all like, okay, you got to get her changed so she can recompete. And my mom goes, recompete for what? Right. Right. So we're sitting there not knowing what's going on. I'm standing backstage. I don't have my wardrobe. I go on stage and whatever I had backstage with me. And I ended mm. up placing top 10, my very first pageant. Uh, so that was insane came oh back the next goodness. year and won international junior miss princess so You're it's been a crazy me. crazy oh ride my God. <laughs> how old were you then i was nine nine years old nine years old and now you're 17. Let me, let me, no, let me put it straight. 17 and a half. 17 and That's half. what you say. I can't forget the half. <laughs> got it. Got it. Oh my goodness. What a journey. What a story. Right. Yes. And, and, the, and there's something interesting about you. You've competed in two different platforms and, and you won in both. Yes. Well, I've competed in multiple, uh -huh. uh, but one of my biggest successes, I would say, is I am the first to win Miss Washington's Outstanding Teen and wow. Miss Washington Teen USA. Are you serious? I'm serious. 
It's well, incredible. I mean, uh, you've done it all. So what's left now? <laughs> well, hopefully Team USA, <laughs> crossing my fingers that yeah. I'm the first Miss Washington Team USA to win. Mm -hmm, the mm -hmm. closest we've ever gotten is second runner up. Second runner up. Yeah. So I'm going in guns blazing. I'm working hard. I'm ready to do my best and represent Washington to the best of my abilities. Absolutely. I don't just like you because you speak well, because you look good, you're intelligent, <laughs> you're smart. But but then again, look at your mom, you know, right? so that just uh, know. runs in the, in the family. <laughs> so we're going to take a very quick short break. And when we come back, we're going to talk more about uh, your journey and how far you've come. And uh, so I'm excited. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. This is Davis here at Channel ATV. We'll be right back. Well, welcome back. Thank you for joining us. Uh, those of you that are tuning in from all the way from Africa, I see people watching from Africa. Shout out to you guys. People watching from Asia, shout out to you and Europe too. So, well, e even here in the state of Washington, thank you so much for joining us. We are having a great conversation with uh, our queen, a young twin, uh, young queen, Miss uh, Novali Lewis, who is uh, right here in the state of Washington and to be specific, Tacoma, Washington. Tacoma. Stand up, Tacoma, Washington. <laughs> <laughs> we can't forget that, right? We can't no, forget that. cannot forget the roots. Well, the good thing is that you are representing us all, the whole state. Yes. Excellent, excellent. Well, shout out to Maureen and David for making this uh, broadcast possible. For Absolutely. Have, have them, you know, just having enough grace and time to make sure that they, they make this work. So we thank you for being here. Yes, they are the best. Highly Absolutely. recommend being a part of the Miss Washington organization because of them, the uh -huh. opportunities they provide. It's incredible. And nobody paid you to say this, right? No, nobody okay, paid. Got I it, promise. Got it. Just, <laughs> just wanted to make sure. Just wanted to make sure. You know, because now you know you just never know. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, thank you for being here. And Maureen, shout out to you and David uh, for just changing people's lives. You know, throughout the years, and uh, I am just specific, particularly honored to be a part of what you guys do, and just for the opportunity for me to talk to all these young ladies who've blossomed just blossomed over the years so thank you so much um so you know being a teen for you what's the most important thing about being a teenager well you know i have that five months until i'm 18 so mm -hmm. then i'm an adult oh wow i know so this sounds <laughs> horrible right now <laughs> uh, I would have to say the most important thing about being a teenager is being true to yourself. Yeah. And that's part of the whole reason why I got involved in the M MUO organization, mm -hmm. because of the fact that their entire platform is empowering young women. Whether you want to be a businesswoman, a doctor, a lawyer, a stay-at-home mom, they empower you to right. be the best version of yourself and to be true to who you are, what you believe in. Mm. Uh, I represent 12 different nationalities. 12 different nationalities. 12 different. Yes. So wow. my family is very large, very loud, very proud. And what they have taught me is how important it is to respect and accept and value each other's differences. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's what helps me to stay true to myself. I couldn't claim one nationality. I love them all. Right. Um, and it forces me to be proud of who I am and where I come from. You just answered my question. I was going to ask you, how do you feel? Do you feel more, you know, Asian? Do you feel more white, more black, more green, more yellow? No, how do you feel? I, I couldn't pick one. Not only because my family would be like, oh my goodness, I cannot believe you chose this one over me. Mm -hmm. But also because, you know, my family, they all bring something different to the table. And, yeah. uh, and mom is not threatening you for this, right? No, She's not. no, she okay. is just, not. Just, just, just want to make sure. Just, just, <laughs> no, <laughs> if never, you say never. you are this, you are in trouble. <laughs> okay, got it, got it, got yeah. it. No, my, fam my family is incredible. They're the biggest support team that I have. Mm -hmm. uh, getting to see them, we, we try to see each other every Christmas. Getting to see them once a year is the best part of my entire year. Yeah. You know, we speak however many different languages at the table. We have sushi for dinner and baklava for dessert. Right. But that doesn't matter to us because the fact that we all get to be together and support each other and, and stay true to who we are and what we represent and the family aspect is so important to us. I love it. I love it. And now you're representing all types of people in the state of Washington. That's right. Yeah, I think that's what makes me so relatable is that yeah. I'm able to represent and relate to so many different people. And one of the biggest things that I love about Washington is how big of a melting pot we are. 
Absolutely. Uh, we have so many different nationalities and, and cultures and regions. And and so as an ex Miss or as Miss Washington Teen USA, mm -hmm. my goal is to relate to as many people as possible to show them that you know, you, you just got to be true to who you are and what you stand for, and you can make change in this world. Your voice matters. Absolutely. You you, you speak very, very well, obviously. Oh, thank you. And uh, you've had the training, I can tell. Yes. So uh, let's talk about your platform. Mm -hmm. So what is your platform, and why is it important for you to choose that particular platform that you have? My platform is a dancing queen empowering you through movement, where I bring free and accessible dance lessons to youth who don't have the access to extracurricular activities. I like that. And I so like that. my goal is to close the opportunity gap. Um, I read this statistic a while ago, and it said something along the lines of, all a child needs to succeed is for one person to tell them that they can do it. Mm -hmm. And for me, I want to be that person for as many people as possible. Uh, yeah. The whole reason that I kind of brought this platform along is because not only did I want to help close the opportunity gap, but I started competing and, and doing dance because I was actually born completely pigeon-toed. Mm. I was supposed to not be able to walk on my own. Uh, the wow. doctors wanted to put me in metal casts. They wanted to do crazy amounts of surgery. And my mom was like, no way. I'm not doing that to my child. There has to be another way. So yeah. she put me in ballet just to try it. I was that little kid who fumbled over her own two feet, could not wow. stand up and do basic, basic uh, ballet basic, moves. Yeah. Wow. But, you know, what it taught me is that doctors and dance teachers always told me you could never be a dancer. It's just not, it's not capable. You're not capable of it. Mm. Uh, and, and what I learned is that you can't allow other people to determine your destiny. That as cliche as it sounds, if you put hard work and determination, no one can stop you from your dreams. And so every day I work hard to be the dancer that I am today, but it's so worth it. And that's what I want to teach through my platform. Wow. I don't, like I said before, I don't remember being 17 and being so articulate. <laughs> that I guess this is a different world altogether after all, right? <laughs> right, right, yes. Yes, that's, that's the best part about being a teenager is yeah. that we get to use our voices. My generation is known for, you know, being the most outspoken and I'm proud of that. Absolutely. I thought I knew my daughter, you know, but sometimes when I interview her and I'm like, who is this? Who just showed up? You know, because it's a whole completely different person that I see at home and, uh, you know, a completely different person when I see her in a professional setting. Yep. So so let's talk about uh, friends, shall we? Yes, we shall. Do you have friends? What do your friends look like? <laughs> you know, do you, you know, what do you do? Uh, you know, do you, the typical things that teenagers do? I mean, what? how do you spend your time? I do have friends. One of my best friends is a dancer with me. Mm -hmm. uh, I would say that dance friends are the best friends for me because they understand my schedule and my life and, you know, how to balance everything. Mm -hmm. My best friend is the bestest friend you'll ever meet. Yeah. Uh, she travels with me all the time to every pageant I ever compete in. She's always there to support me. You know, she, she was there when I won. She came running to the stage to give me a big hug. And I couldn't imagine sharing that moment with anybody else. Yeah. Uh, her and I have been friends, gosh, since I was probably nine, ten years old. Uh, and, yeah, I, I really value her. I love her. Um, she's the best thing that's ever happened to me. She keeps me humble and graceful. And I think one of our favorite things to do together is to do face masks, especially the gold under eye patches, because mm -hmm, I mm -hmm, like to stay mm -hmm. young and fresh, you know, since got I'm getting it, old. Got it, got it. I'm not <laughs> surprised. I saw your mom. I'm, not so, I'm not surprised. I saw your mom. So that explains right? it. It makes sense. You know, I was just like, I'm going to leave this alone, you know, but <laughs> since you brought it up, we'll just say it like that. So uh, that, that sounds like a, a very exciting life because you, yes. you, you're very balanced. Yes, for sure. Family is important to me. Um, ed obviously, education and school is very important, but my friends and my family. Yeah, those are two things that you just you can't get on the bad side of those people. They That's will right. always be there for you. They're Friends always in forever, your corner. Right? Friends right. forever. Friends got forever. It, got it. <laughs> I'm learning so much. You know, I have my notebook in front of me. I'm taking notes from you, Miss <laughs> Novoli. It's it's amazing. It's amazing. So um, you know, let's talk about uh, just ideas for the future. You know, yes. you know, I know that when I was growing up, I didn't have any ideas, no expectations. <laughs> you know, it was pretty boring. I mean, all I knew was just, you know, what am I going to eat tomorrow? Is that going to be any food for me to eat tomorrow? It was a different, completely different environment, mm -hmm. you know, but for you, uh, what are your aspirations of becoming anything in the future? And, and if you don't sh mind sharing, you know, what it is that you aspire to become when you grow up? Yes. Well, I was actually just telling a friend of mine the other day, whenever I go to a dance competition, 
Right. I'm always given the Broadway award. So it's like, go take class in New York and, and come on Broadway. And so I've been scouted out by so many people. You should start singing because you'd be great for Broadway. And ever since I was little, mm -hmm. no, I want to be a business lady. That was Got always it. what I said. Right. Uh -huh. So I've known since I was little. Okay. Um, but I want to go to Pepperdine University. That's the goal. Mm -hmm. And double major in business and international marketing. So my goal is to be a CEO of my own international real estate development company. Real estate. Real, real estate. estate. You know, uh, one of my friends told me, he said, uh, you know, every millionaire that I, I have millionaire friends, you know, mm -hmm. I'm not a millionaire myself, I'm not anywhere close, but you know, they said real estate is always a component that's part of becoming a millionaire. Yep. Did you, you know, tap into that, you know, phrase as well? Or did this, you know, it was just a coincidence that you, Bring it up. No, when I was little, my favorite place to go was the mall. Mm -hmm. I thought it was so cool how one spot could have so many different businesses. Yeah. Uh, and so growing up, I always said, I want to own a mall. I, I want to be like the Simon property and own tons of malls all over the country. And as I gotten older, I've realized that there is a huge world out there more than malls. I can own apartment buildings and, and duplexes and parking lots and mm. malls, you know? So uh, I realized that there is more for me. And obviously as I get older, I want to keep pushing myself to create bigger goals and to meet match and meet those goals so mm. hopefully when i'm older i'm doing something even bigger than what my dream is now oh wow you have to keep dreaming <laughs> i have to right. keep dreaming you know there's a, f a friend of a friend that we know you might know who he is uh akon he's, yes. uh, he's an artist uh he had an idea obviously you know i'm from africa and uh, you know people just dream we all have a dream right so he went to africa with the intention of creating a smart city so i would encourage you to look up that documentary when you get a chance, uh, it's called the Smart City, you know, Econ Smart City, okay. which is actually now using the coins. And that's a whole different story. I mean, <laughs> I can have that conversation with your mom about it, but definitely, you know, check it out on YouTube if you can. Uh, Smart Cities, I happen to be one of the people that are working on some of those projects that are actually building the future of Africa and enhancing the future of Africa from the same perspective. That's what I brought it up. Wow, that's awesome. Yes, Definitely indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. <laughs> so we're going to take a short break. When we come back, we're going to have a deeper conversation about your lifestyle, your future, and just, uh, you know, some of the people that you love to work with. So let's take a break. When we come back, we'll be live here at Channel ATV. We are watching Meet the Queens. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Channel ATV. Obviously, we're having a great conversation with the young lady, Miss Novalee Lewis, who happens to be the current newest Miss Washington Teen USA 2021. So it's, she's a dynamic young lady. I encourage you guys to support her social media, you know, connect with her, have a conversation with her. She's very graceful. She'll share a little bit about her experience in a short life, 17 and a half years old. You know, <laughs> welcome back, Thank Novalee. You. <laughs> it's great having you in the studio. And uh, obviously, you're a dynamic, wonderful young lady. Thank you. Yeah, so keep doing what you're doing. I think Washington should be so proud. I am proud. Oh. Your mom, we can't even go there. Your mom is so proud. Your dad is so proud. So, you know, in turn, I think people need to get the opportunity to learn and support you and connect with you. So speaking of connecting with people, this is a shameless plug. You know, so what are some of the things that you require from sponsorship in order for you to keep pushing your agenda as you move forward? 
Well, I went into my year and competing, not knowing I was going to win the first time I ever competed mm -hmm. uh, for the title of Miss Washington Teen USA. Right. I've sat in the audience for seven years dreaming of Long this. Time. Seven years. Uh, Long Amani time. Blackman, uh -huh. when she was Miss Washington Teen USA, that's, I that's saw our homie. Her. Yes, yeah. yes. I saw her at an appearance. Mm -hmm. And she is the one who completely was like, you should do it. You would be perfect. And ever since then, I was like, I'm mom, I'm going to be Miss Washington Teen mm. USA. She's like, she uh, said, I'm Okay. Perfect. Yeah. yeah, I was like, oh, yeah. obviously, I miss Washington TV USA. <laughs> but it, it, Imani is nice, you know, so she's, she's just amazing. nice. Yeah, she's nice. She's so. amazing. And she totally, I give all the credit to her for introducing this organization and, and pushing me to do it. So, yeah, I've been watching for seven years. Didn't expect to win the first time. Um, but I would say for a sponsor, for me, just the fact that they are going out of their way, especially during a pandemic, mm -hmm. to make it possible for all of us to, you know, have spray tans, get our, our hair done and make sure we have the products that we need for teeth whitening and other things yeah. when we need it be for appearances like this or, or yeah. going out to schools is incredible. So I don't say that I would expect any, or recommend anything from a sponsor. I'm just thankful that they believe in this organization and they believe in us. Mm -hmm. um, but I went into this year thinking I'm going to gain as many sponsors as possible. I want to spread the organization, not only to the girls, but to our community so that the entire state of Washington knows how incredible this program is. Right. So I'm proud to say that I have two signed on two new sponsors and continuing to count. I actually got my hair done by I one of our that. sponsors today. She is amazing. Right. Highly recommend um, a Prima salon in Gig Harbor. Mm. She's incredible. She just gave me an entire package of products that I love that smell amazing. So, yes, our sponsors are just so generous and so gracious. And I don't expect anything from them because the fact that they believe in me and this program is enough for me. Excellent, excellent work. If you're watching this broadcast and you know you can contribute to the growth of this young lady, please hit us up. You know how to connect with us. You can follow on social media. I know that right now I have somebody who has the product that you can actually enjoy using uh, going forward. I, I don't know what it is. You know, I, I've seen the bottles, but I, I, you figure it out. All I know <laughs> is that I know that they, they wanted to sponsor. I don't know what it is, but you come back and tell me. Um, but definitely, yeah, if you're watching this broadcast and you want to connect and be part of the story, as we continue to support the reigning uh, Miss Washington Teen USA 2021, Miss Novelly Lewis. Please come with us and we will point you into the right direction. Absolutely. So, absolutely. So now, um, what are some of the things that make you uncomfortable or not to be so happy, if you will? Yeah, uh, spiders. Spiders. Yes, insects, okay. bugs, cannot do. The shame about living in the state of Washington is mm. I love... Like how beautiful yes. our state is the water and the mountains and the rainforest i cannot do nature i don't camp uh hiking is a stretch for me mm. those are those are very hard i like to you know be in my dance clothes dancing or dress up and go out to dinner with my friends and family but nature yeah. is oh, i can't do it it's really Absolutely. Hard right so i would say <laughs> okay. bugs and insects um but i would say on a deeper level being afraid to speak out about things that i and passionate about. Mm -hmm. uh, I know when I was first becoming a teenager, 13, 14 years old, uh, believe it or not, I was not this confident. Yeah. I mean, weird, right? Right, uh, right, right? And I was afraid to speak out about things like the fact that, you know, I represent 12 different nationalities and I should be proud of that. I was, I was bullied for ever, never feeling like I belonged into one nationality or one group. Mm -hmm. And that's when I realized that you can't ever place yourself in a box that you always have to push to, you know, be better and, and think outside the box and be creative and, and never force yourself to, you know, find the stereotypes that other people place on you. And so I would say whenever I feel the lack of not being able to talk about things that I'm passionate about or, or bring awareness to those, that is what makes me feel uncomfortable because I am blessed to have a voice and to have the confidence to speak mm -hmm. out. And so I have to do that not only for myself, but for other people as well. Absolutely. Very well said. Now that you are even having a bigger voice and a bigger platform, yes. how are you planning to use that platform to help others who may not necessarily have the platform that you have to speak out on issues such as uh, what's going, what's happening to folks uh, from Asia right now mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, black folks, as we know, you know, so how do you use your platform? Or how do you plan to use your platform moving forward in your, in your in a small way or a bigger way? 
you know, the sash and crown is incredible and it, it provides opportunities like this, but it's the person who wears it that provides the opportunities I for like themselves. That. I like that. Uh, and for me, I went into this year and, and thinking COVID is not going to be an excuse for me. Uh, the fact, you know, that there are issues happening all over the world, I'm not going to hide from those or, or hide behind them. Uh, my job as a title holder is to encourage young women to create their own ideas and to not be afraid to talk about them. And so because I do come from all different nationalities and I do have um, African American and Japanese mm -hmm. in me, obviously I'm very passionate about what's happening in this world. And I'm right. very confident that I can have a conversation with any person respectfully and kindly uh, backed up with facts and statistics about what I believe and why. And it's so important that we're encouraging our teens to be able to do that as well. That's excellent. Excellent. So, you know, your growth right now, you, you're growing in, you know, in an environment where you have even a bigger voice. Yes. Uh, you have the opportunity to say something. The environment that I grew up in, you probably can, your mom will say the same thing or your dad will say the same thing. We didn't have much of a voice because now you guys can use technology and social media and all these things to push the narrative, right? Yes. So you have a good following on Instagram, Facebook, and all that good stuff. And shout out, by the way, shout out to you. You go follow the young lady. She's doing an amazing job. What's your <laughs> handle again before I proceed? <laughs> My personal is Novali Lewis on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And okay. then Instagram for the title is Miss Wa Teen USA, or Facebook is Miss Washington Teen USA. Excellent. So follow, follow all those, and uh, <laughs> you can see them on the screen right now. So please follow the young lady. But uh, back to the point that I was trying to make, you know, so how do you handle folks that are actually abusing social media? Like mm -hmm. they use the same platform that you guys are using to do the right things. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, when people try to attack you on social media and things like that, how do you handle that? You know what? We can't ever limit somebody's ability to speak their truth. Uh, that's the greatest part about living in the United States of America is that we have men and women every single day mm -hmm. and for the past hundreds of years that have fought for our ability to be able to speak our mind and speak um, about issues that we we believe in. However, it's so important we're doing that respectfully of other people. I have seen a lot of hate, I, I would say, in um, people judging others for you know, their right to practice their mm -hmm. own ideas and, and why they believe something. And so for me, if I ever feel that I'm in an uncomfortable situation on social media or, you know, I'm being bullied, I I kind of don't give it that energy. I don't give it my energy because I'm speaking my truth. I'm speaking what I believe in. And that's all that matters to me. And so I am not doing it to be rude or to be catty, but I just kindly unfollow or block that person because it's all about your mental headspace and where you are and allowing yourself to be true to who you are. And if I'm allowing other people to shape my ideas and my beliefs, then mm -hmm. I'm not staying true to myself. Very well said. So speaking of uh, mental status, mm -hmm. you know, uh, we're going through the pandemic right now. You know, how have you managed to stay balanced to make sure that uh, you don't dive into the things that you shouldn't be doing because, you know, you're making an excuse that, you know, not necessarily that it has to be an excuse, but, you know, we're living through the moments where it's really, really tough to to keep your yourself afloat. You know, how are you managing your time to make sure that you stay sane and you stay articulate as you are? You know, 2020 was a year of adjustment. Uh, there was some fear in the beginning of it, but I would say it was a blessing in disguise. It mm -hmm. taught me to, even though I'm busy and even though I love being active, to focus on myself and to right. focus on my family because those are the things that are important to me. And so it gave, it forced me to kind of take a step back and reassess my priorities in life. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going into 2020, 2021 with a better mentality, a healthier mentality. I'm ready to take on this title and, and all of the jobs and priorities that it has. And for me, my biggest thing is I make sure that I check in with myself every week. I'm doing something that is good for me, whether that's yeah. meditating in the morning before I go to school. I like to take yoga in the afternoon sometimes, some mm -hmm. breathing. Uh, it's important that you are making sure that you're feeding yourself spiritually, mentally, uh, making sure that you are in the right state of mind so that you don't fall into that fear or that discomfort. And if you are feeling that way, you should never be afraid to reach out to somebody, find somebody that you trust, because it's so important you're not going through it alone. 
Oh, I love it, man. You are so articulate. I'm telling you, I'll say it one more time. If I was as articulate as you are, when I was 17, it would have been a whole different world for me. So, <laughs> yeah. So, um, you know, lately, and you touched on something that's very important, you know, bef before, you know, the, the environment that I grew up, I used to see when I see somebody stretching and stuff like that, I used to think it's a sign of weakness. Like, mm -hmm. you know, this kind of just kind of looks a little corny for me mm -hmm. to be stretching and stuff. But, um, you know, obviously, you know, Later, later on, I came to discover how important it was for me. When I started hearing bones cracking a little bit, I was like, okay, wait a minute, I need to switch up. <laughs> I need to switch up the game a little bit. So yes. now they don't crack as much, you know. So, you know, you're doing the right thing. You're doing the right thing. So I want to give you the opportunity to um, thank anyone who's been a part of your journey because I know that you didn't get here by yourself. Nope. You, you, you're surrounded and loved by so many people. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, who are some of the people that have been a part of uh, a bigger influence, you know, for you to be where you are today? Well, obviously my parents, uh, especially my mom, mm -hmm. um, she is the kind of mom that doesn't tell you what you always want to hear, which is so important to me because that's how I become better. She helps me to push for better goals, to, to push myself to be better every single day. Uh, and I couldn't you know, dream as big as I, I do if it wasn't for her. She's also the best person at making sure that, you know, I'm getting all the opportunities that I can through dance and through pageants and, and making me feel important and loved. And that's so important to me. Uh, so my parents are a huge part of my support team. Uh, they are my biggest cheerleaders. Couldn't do it without them. Nice. My dance family is incredible. You know, I have found a dance studio full of dancers and teachers who sit there and practice with me after dance at 9 p.m. for hours, making sure I'm ready for interview or I'm ready and, and feel poised and beautiful in my gown. Uh, so I love them. I appreciate them. And then my school. I have been there since I was in preschool, Life Christian Academy. I love them so much. Uh, my teachers, my administrators, the students I've grown up with forever, they have always supported me and always you know, understood and made sure that I know that school is obviously a priority, but these opportunities are once in a lifetime and you have to take them. Excellent. And then I would say, um, obviously, God, uh, he is so important to me in my life. And every night I thank him for the opportunities that I have and for the life that I live, because really he is the one that brings us favor at the end of the night. I love that. I love that. <laughs> We have a lot of things in common, but most importantly, we have God in common. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm also a believer and, uh, you know, I wouldn't be here without uh, him giving me the opportunities such as this one, having it in front of me. I mean, uh, a lot of people would like to sit in front of you and learn from you mm -hmm. with all this wisdom at 17 and a half. You know, I think uh, that's a great opportunity. That's a great opportunity for me. So I want to thank you for being here and for showing up and, uh, you know, just, uh, you know, a lot of things that you've done in such a short period of time. It's incredible to experience a young lady from my neighborhood who can do such an amazing time, you know, amazing, you know, thing for the whole community. And uh, I'm thinking about a great time. So uh, because I'm looking <laughs> ahead. So, yeah, excuse me for that. But uh, you, you continue doing what you do. And I think Washington should be proud that we have the right one, as we always do. You know, yes. shout out to Maureen and David. Right. You know, so <laughs> thank you so much. So I want to give you the opportunity as well for you to say any last words from your heart. You know what, ladies, if you ever think about joining the MUO organization, I highly recommend that you message me on Facebook or Instagram. Um, I am usually on there at nighttime to make sure I'm not missing any DMs or messages. I would love to talk to you about the organization and the benefits and how incredible it is because I've grown up watching it. And even just sitting in the audience for seven years, I feel I have grown and and learn something from the organization so i highly recommend that you look into it message me message christine my miss uh, we have some pretty incredible stories and some great information for you so highly recommend and you want to be a part of the sisterhood it's incredible absolutely and shout out to miss christine yes. who's also amazing so uh, you know so speaking of christine so how are you guys working together to support each other i know you're looking at her like a biggest you know older sister to yes. you you know so what are some of the conversations that you have behind the scenes you know she's incredible mm -hmm. shout out to christine i love her um we are virgo sisters so we're both born in september 
she is pretty much an only child. Her brothers are way older than her. So mm -hmm. we have that in common. Uh, there's, I mean, the list could go on and on. We are so similar. And I love her. From day one, I knew that she was going to be an incredible big sister. She yeah. checks in with me every single day. She makes sure that my school day went well, that dance went well. Uh, she is everything and more that you could ask for in a big sister. And I really do believe that God placed us to be in the same year together for a reason. And we have some pretty big ideas and some pretty incredible ideas for this year. So I'm so excited to better our state together. Uh, and I love her so much. Very, very well <laughs> said. Shout out to you, Christine, if you're watching. Yes. Thank you so much for being a bigger influence in this category. So we're going to take a short break. And when we come back, we're going to hear final thoughts. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. And this is Davis right here at Channel ATV. We'll be right back. And welcome back to the th final thoughts of uh, Channel 8 TV presentations. We are having a great time with the young lady, Miss Washington, Teen USA. I'm talking about Miss Novalee Lewis, down from Tacoma, Washington, representing the whole Washington this time around. So we appreciate you being in the studio with us. And uh, if you're joining us, ladies and gentlemen, and you feel like uh, you need to be a support system of this young lady, please don't forget to inbox us or find Miss Novalee and actually get in touch with her and a manager who used to be the mother, and you can get in touch with David and Maureen. You can find her. There's no excuse why you cannot be connected to her. So thank you so much for being here, and thank you for watching. And uh, back to you, Miss uh, Novali. So how was your interview? How do you think you did? My interview was incredible. I felt really good. Uh, a funny good. story. It was my first time ever doing a Zoom interview, and I am terrible at technology. Mm. Terrible, which has been hard this year with COVID, right? I'm, I'm learning. I'm getting better at it. Um, so that was my first Zoom interview, which was a little stressful. And mm -hmm. then I was actually in San Antonio, Texas for a dance competition right. and my mom had to pull me out in the middle of classes. I had to hurry and do my hair and makeup. I looked crazy. And then we literally put up an ironing board with textbooks from school with my laptop in front of a hotel curtain. And I did my interview and it was three minutes. So, so short, but I got done and thought, well, there it goes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it felt good. It, you know, I got to connect with the judges. I still yeah. felt the energy and I still felt the face to face connection, which is the most incredible part about technology. So I'm just thankful that we were able to still do an interview and that Maureen found a way for us to still compete and, and make this and whole process done. happen. Yeah. 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 So definitely I, I want to give you a chance to ask me any question that you want. Okay. Yes. I mean, when are you going to have Beyonce in the studio? <laughs> Beyonce, ah, oh, that's a good question. That's a really good question. Beyonce, if you're watching and listening to this young lady, you can hear she has a lot of demands, you know, so <laughs> please get out your girl. You know, she's, uh, <laughs> yes. that's more like a request. That was not a question, oh, but okay. yeah, so, you know, that's more like a special request, but yes. well noted. <laughs> <laughs> I want to ask you um, why you why you got involved in, in wanting to expand. You were talking about how you started kind of mm -hmm. with the sports aspect and then and then you realized that you could expand farther and, and mm -hmm. why you wanted to do that and, and what why it's so important to you. Absolutely, that, that's a very good question. And I was expecting something like that to come from you. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I, I'm, you know, I was raised in a way that uh, I was exposed to a lot of different things, a lot of different people. And uh, just like you are growing up now, you know, I got connected to people of all walks of lives. And part of that stems from being around folks at the church and learning more about different cultures and stuff like that. So I'm always inquisitive to find out how other people live, how other people perceive life, how other people cohere, you know, can exist with other people who mm -hmm. are different from them. And so because of that, you know, I came to find out that uh, life is just one big bubble. Like we all live in and our similarities, our differences are really the same. 
you know, you can go to a different continent right now and you find that humanity is just the same. No matter how, you know, rich or poor they are, they still worship the same God. They mm -hmm. still worship, you know, they believe in the th same things that we believe in. So from that stemmed uh, the curiosity of, you know, how can I influence somebody else next to me, mm -hmm. whether young or old, mm -hmm. you know? And so I started with my own family to inspire them. And, uh, you know, you know the story. My daughter started, you know, uh, doing her media stuff when she was five. And now she's 16, thinking she's uh, 30 already, <laughs> you know. So, uh, and so the rest is history. So I'm, I'm just uh, inspired by everyone around me, including yourself today. I got very, very inspired to know that we still have a lot of good young ladies yeah. growing up with a lot of, you know, skills and aspirations. So I'm just very, very grateful that you came here today. Thank you for having me. I'm, I'm really grateful to be here. Absolutely. You're welcome. And, uh, you know, in closing, this is one of my favorite questions. So <laughs> when it's all said and done, mm -hmm. you know, how would you like to be remembered? This has been a dream of mine forever, uh, like I was talking about. And for me, I want to be known and remember it as reaching as many people as possible and not for what I say, um, but for how I said it, how I made people feel, because you rarely remember what the conversation was that you had with someone, but you will always remember how they made you feel and the lasting impact that they had. And that's part of the reason why I got involved in this program, because I will never forget the way Imani made me feel when I met her. She made me feel important. She made me feel capable. She made me feel beautiful. And that's what I want to do as Miss Washington Teen USA. I want to make sure that every person I come in contact with feels important and that they know that their voice matters. Matters because when you can inspire people uh, with how you're speaking to them and in the way that you're inspiring them, that's the biggest gift that you can give anybody. You know what? That's the best explanation I've ever heard. You know, <laughs> Thank so you. I don't think I want to mess up anything that you just said. At this point, I'm just going to tell the followers to follow <laughs> this young, beautiful young lady and, and connect with her on social media and send a message, like I said, to, to me or to David or Maureen or the manager or, you know, somebody's going to get back to you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in. This has been a great presentation uh, with lovely Miss Novali. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to your future. And uh, any last words to anybody watching right now from your perspective? I want to say thank you to everyone, uh, whether you are uh, my support team from Alabama, the Wilsons, or anywhere in the country. I love you all. Thank you for supporting me in everything that I do. My OG Team Novali and my no Team Novali now, uh, you guys have helped me to get to where I am, and I couldn't do it without you all. So, you know, you're only as good as the people who are in your tribe, and my tribe is pretty incredible. So. I'm excited for this year, and I'm excited for Miss Teen USA. <laughs> Absolutely. We can't wait to see you on TV, my friend. We are so excited. It's been a pleasure having you in the studio. Mom, thank you, thank you so me. much for being here. We appreciate you. You've done a wonderful job. I think you need to be excited for this young lady. I'm excited for your future. God bless you. Thank we'll you. see you shortly. Ladies and gentlemen, if you've been uh, following this story, please uh, feel free to reach out to us. If you have any support, any sponsorship, we'll take it on any level. God bless you. Thank you so much. This has been a presentation of Meet the Queens live here at Channel ATV. God bless you.